hello viewers so welcome to my youtube channel in this episode today i've got good news for you is your plan your aspiration your hope to come to canada in the year 2022 and because of covid19 you probably lost hope that oh canada your goal your aspiration to come to canada might not work out all right in this video today i present to you the best and the most viable way for you to come into canada and i'll be giving you reasons why it is the main reason the main focus that you should have if you still plan to come into canada in the year 2022. Okay, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. I still remember my humble self, MC Bernardino. This is Canada Reality, where I dish out content for those that are in Canada and those that are aspiring to migrate into Canada. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, please do me the honor, hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, so that anytime I drop a video, you'll be among the first to get it. And for our returning viewers, thank you very much for believing in us. If you enjoyed this video, please endeavor to share this video and hit on the likes button. Likewise, to you might as well follow us on our social media handles our instagram facebook twitter so that you will always stay informed because we do not do videos every day but we try as much as possible to upload on our social media pages all right so just like i earlier stated that i'll be telling you about the most viable way if you plan to come into canada in the year 2022 it's still early we are still in february so if you want to come into canada the most viable way that i will suggest to you which the file or is that if you probably apply through this uh, pathway you stand a very good chance and you might want to give it a thought everybody knows that this year 2022 i mean for those that are outside canada express the eyed skilled workers they have we have never seen any draw since 2020 there has never been draw since december 2020 the most viable way that i would like to tell you is to come into canada through study yes i mean through study i know some people might not agree with me but for now that's still put that still happens to be the most viable way for people that are outside canada to come into canada and i'll be giving reasons why i said study is still the most viable way i'll be put, giving the reason putting it in front of you and it's left for you to now make a decision based on this so before i start that i will want to let you know that i mean the skilled the express entry pathway through which people always come into canada in the years past they have in the last two years now i mean one and a half years if not two years now we have seen it still in the uh in that pathway since december 2020 now we have never seen an express entry done for those that are outside canada and for those that are inside canada since like mid last year we have not seen draws done for cec canadian experience class and because of that uh there has been a very serious uh problem i mean there are a lot of people in the express entry uh pool that are outside canada that are waiting anxiously some people have even received their ita but they have not still gotten any uh a request for passport and so and the like so that's a really worrisome and also on the other side of provincial nominee yes provincial nominee still also have it's also another secondary way through which you can come into canada yes i accept that but you cannot compare that to study the reason why i say study is the best pathway that i should be you should be looking at in the year 2022 if you are planning to come into canada is that the first thing is that apart from the fact that canada is i mean it's a, it's a choice destination for international students because if you come into canada to come and study you can be very sure that the study the knowledge that you are going to acquire here is going to be equal to what you get in other western world if not top notch i mean i came in here to study and i can really, really tell you that the study that i got here the kind of education that i got here cannot be commensurate to what i've got in the past so i mean you get the best of education you get in terms of facilities in terms of uh uh, resources lecturers the professors that teaches you you will be sure that you will get the best of the best so that's the reason one the second reason that i feel that coming on the study for international student that wants to come into canada in the year 2022 will be the best pathway is that i mean international student that comes into canada i mean their major goal some of them majority of them rather like me, me too when i was coming to canada it was not just because i want to come and study it was just because i was looking for a pathway for me to reside in canada as a permanent resident and to eventually become a citizen of canada that was my ultimate goal so and i know that majority of you that are outside canada that are watching me right now that is your main goal so study for now still proves to be the best pathway for people that wants to come into canada and be uh, permanent in canada so like last year i mean some people that came into canada were fortunate to get come into canada on the study there was a pathway that was created like a temporary pathway for like i think it lasted for like two to three months that gave an avenue for international students to apply for 
their permanent residence in Canada. And very sure, I'm sure that this year too, similar program will be rolled out. I mean, Canada Immigration, Canada government will roll out similar program. So that means that if you look at it, Canada government believes that international students contribute a lot into the Canada economy. And they always try as much as possible to protect international students because they know that international students, it is very easy for them to integrate into the economy because they have already come into Canada to come and study. So it's easy for them to integrate. So they do not want them to go back home. I mean, so that is why they always they created that policy last year in the midst of pandemic. And also, I'm very sure that this year too, they'll be creating something similar to that. So international students that are already in Canada, congratulations to you because I know for sure there will be a path for you to be a permanent resident in Canada. And for those that are still outside, that are probably still dejected because of the skilled workers draw that have not been done, express entry not been done, provision how many you're still waiting, what I can tell you is that try applying for that study. I mean, I know that coming to study in Canada is very huge, the tuition fee is very high, but the benefit that you reap from it, I mean, it's not commensurate to the money you'll be spending. I remember when I came in then, uh, some seven, eight years back, I spent close to like thirteen or 14000 for tuition fee, not talking about the accommodation and the rest of them, but I'm reaping the benefit now because I'm now a Canadian citizen. So do not look at the tuition fee. I mean, try as much as possible, see where you can get it from. If you have to borrow it, if you have to, anywhere you can get it from, just make sure that you invest in yourself and I'm sure that at the end of the day, you would not regret it. The next code is reason why I feel that coming on a study in Canada in the year 2022 should be something that you should be looking at is that it allows you, if you're married, it allows you to bring in your family too and everybody can become, can finally settle in Canada. I'll give you an instance. When I came in in the year 2014, I came in by myself. Afterwards, I was able to bring in my wife and we were able to settle in Canada with our kids. So that can also be something that you should look at too. If you are married already from wherever you're coming from outside Canada, you can apply alone. You've seen my videos on that whereby I say that it's better you apply by yourself alone and bring in your spouse thereafter and your children can also come thereafter. So eventually everybody comes into Canada and you can enjoy I mean, better life for yourself, for your partner and your children can also um, uh, experience better education and become a better person in life. All right, viewers, I hope you actually understood the video that I brought for you, trying to tell you that the best pathway for you to, if you intend to come into Canada in the year 2022 is to come in through study because, I mean, there are a lot of benefits that you stand to benefit if you come into study. The only uh, uh, downside of coming on a study is the tuition fee. And I know it's very huge. I mean, tuition fee in Canada, I mean, now you can't get anything less. Uh, in Ontario, you can I mean, to come and do postgraduate for one year, you'll be looking at 15 to 16,000 Canadian dollars annually for tuition fee only. We're not talking about accommodation and the rest of them. I know it's very huge, but at the same time, it's going to, it's worth it. So that's why I feel that coming on the study in the year 2022 still proves to be the best way. And also, let me advise for those of you that are out there that have applied to come and study before and you've been rejected, I've made videos in the past about, in fact, I brought on this YouTube channel someone that was rejected three times and on the fourth trial, he got it. So do not, I mean, do not be dejected. Do not be downcasted. Do not feel that because you've been rejected, that is all. You can still stand up. Even if you, if you, if you, if you, if you apply and you're rejected, in the, in the refusal letter, they always say that you are welcome to reapply again if things change. So you can always change those things, address those areas whereby they, they rejected you and try again. Because at the end of the day, you would not regret doing so if you eventually get the visa. Okay, viewer, once again, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit on the likes button and share this video. If you have any question that you're not clear about based on this topic that I brought for you or what you want me to talk about or what I've talked about in the past, feel free to drop it in the comment section. I read those comment section and I try as much as possible to address your concern. All right, till I come back to you again on this YouTube channel with another very exciting video and informative video that I feel you will benefit from. Please stay safe, do away from drugs and see you in Canada very soon.